What's happening, everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video. And in this video, we are, the goal is really to inspire you uh, in terms of getting started selling toys on eBay. And one of the main purposes of this YouTube channel is to teach you guys how to make money online, uh, especially with eBay. And if you wanna make money with eBay, one of the number one things you gotta do is learn what items to buy and sell. And uh, Brandon is an expert when it comes to selling toys uh, on eBay, you sell toys locally as well. Yep. And uh, we're gonna talk about why toys. So we've done a bunch of videos, you know, today and on the channel previously about making money selling toys on eBay. But if you're just like getting into this world of selling toys, you're wondering why should I, like, is it even worth my time? Let's talk about toys for you, why you sell toys and why others should listen. Okay, so I've been passionate about toys ever since I was a kid. Um, it was obviously, one huge reason about why you should get into toys is what is more like nostalgic or brings you back and makes you feel good than than toys mm. um for me it's toys and food yeah <laughs> <laughs> so like like you walk into your grandmother's house on christmas and the smells and mm. that brings you back you know so for a lot of people the same thing happens with toys yeah um that that toy that you always wanted that you got on christmas morning and you know it, it just brings you back to a better simpler time oh absolutely and so that's a huge reason about why people buy toys to get that feeling again that they had as a kid mm. um and it just brings up very good emotions and and i'm gonna cut you off real quick one thing about that when it comes to like buying and selling like you always want to sell stuff that's emotional for sure because people when they become like connected to it emotionally, they're willing to spend more money, impulse buys, they see it, they recognize it, they think about like their childhood and stuff. So it's huge. Mothers, fathers, grandparents. They like, won't pay up <laughs> for toys. Yeah, that's the other the other half of it is one thing that people will spend huge amounts of money on is one, their pets. Yeah. <laughs> and two, their kids. Yeah. And the kids, that's what they want. It's toys. You go you go out anywhere. Unfortunately, more today, it's starting to kind of go towards electronics more, um, but still, toys are huge and there's a lot of money to be made. Yeah, you know one thing I love about toys, and this is why I love clothing, this is why I love books, I like to sell products where you could find an abundance of them because when there's a lot of something out there, uh, products and inventory will fall through the cracks at thrift stores. I mean, people are complaining lately about prices at thrift stores and yep. stuff. And yeah, prices are going up. But the cool thing about toys, and especially clothing as well, is when you have so much of a particular type of product or category, things fall through the cracks. You can find amazing opportunities. So there's so many toys. Exactly. Um, where do you get your toys typically from? All over the place. So you already mentioned thrift. So savers is a big one. If you're just getting into toys, those random toy bags can be huge for you. Most of the people in the country, a lot of people don't have savers. So they don't know what the, because Goodwill doesn't do this. At least... Some of the Goodwills are starting to. In but other areas, yeah. Also, okay, so if you're, if whatever thrift or whatever that you guys go to in your hometown, um, a lot of different ones will do just like grab bags where they'll throw a bunch of random toys yeah. together and put a two, three dollar price tag. Or you could be savers and put like eight, six to eight dollars on their toys, which is ridiculous. They're but, getting crazy lately. But the thing is, so you can go in and spend three dollars. And even if your first flip is only 10, you know, it's a starting point. It's a starting point and the overabundance of toys you almost can't strike out because yeah. they're they're everywhere another big place for me is facebook marketplace mm. and that is one of my favorites because kids grow out of a certain thing you know kids are changing their mind yeah. every two seconds so today they'll like ninja turtles tomorrow they'll like power rangers it's and it's constantly changing so a lot of times the parents like to recoup the money they spent, at least part of it, on those toys to put towards new ones. Or even, like I we mentioned spring cleaning in another video. And yeah. you can get a lot of stuff for, for essentially free. They just free. see it as junk. They just want to get rid of it. Their kids already used it. They don't really care Empty about the money Empty out the playroom. The kids don't want it anymore. Get a huge tote full of stuff. Exactly. Yeah, even we, at Goodwill, I found a, it was a tote of, um, I think it's, a, it's either Nickelodeon or... Disney, it's yeah. Pe Peppa Pig. Okay. And it was just a huge bin for yeah. five bucks. Yeah, and the crazy thing about toys as well, and it goes with books, it goes with clothing, when you have that many products, like you'll find like gold nuggets. Like sometimes you'll buy like a toy bag for like a specific reason, maybe because you see like something that just attracts you that you I know- I have a story can, about that. Yeah, you know you can flip something from three bucks to 20, but then you find like this $90 toy in it. 
Okay, yeah, actually, the story's a little better than that, actually. <laughs> okay, so I know my Ninja Turtles pretty good, the original ones. Yeah. Um, so I was in Savers uh, about a couple months back, and um, once again, the toy bags. There was three bags, three or four bags that had two turtles each. Okay. Um, I bought them. Were they the 1988s? They were not. They were 90s. So they okay. were still one of the older lines, but and they weren't like the new turtles look completely different. <laughs> so uh, I bought them strictly because they were their older style turtles, and I collect them anyways. So yeah. the line I had never seen before. So when I bought them, I did not know what they were worth. Um, you just knew it was unique, and that's that's one thing that we always talk about is like if you see something unique, obscure, you've never really seen it before, and right. you have knowledge. Risk versus reward. And exactly. And they were Ninja Turtles, but they were, they looked like dinosaurs. Like they had dinosaur features, like tails and horns and stuff like yeah. that. It's, and come to find out, it's one of the last original lines of like that design of turtle that they made. Huh. So the production was lower and they're harder to find. So I paid between $1.99 and $2.99 per bag for those turtles. Um, and it had the four main turtles and in their dinosaur form or whatever, and the shredder from that same set. Just the shredder itself sells for 150. And then Who would have known? Total about 300 to 350 for the five figures. Wow. And I paid what, seven or eight bucks for yeah. that? Yeah. It's crazy with toys. Like he was telling me a story um, recently. <clears throat> we made a video just a little while ago about uh, wanted ads. And that's one of the ways that Brandon, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, depending on when this video airs, cause we, we batched a bunch of videos today, you've got to watch that videos cause he has a real secret, like it's not a secret, but it's a cool strategy of how he finds a lot of toy inventory by putting out wanted ads. But you actually had sold a, you found a toy from a wanted ad well, a whole lot of toys, but you sold one of them for $1,500. Yeah. That was like three or four like, days ago. Like we're not ago. talking about like, Flipping toys for eight dollars, like yeah, you like can go out and you can buy toys. a used car with fifteen. Yeah, but I'm saying like, like a lot of people. I want to get this out there. Watching this video, thinking like, oh, like I'm gonna be messing with toys and flipping random little accessories and toys for like. Oh, I'll make ten dollars, five dollars. Yeah, or, and that's fine if you've got employees and you're doing high volume. Like I'm not hating on like the high volume, low profit um, business model, but you can actually find items that you flip for fifty, hundred, hundred fifty bucks, make a week's pay. I mean, and that was actually the second thousand dollar plus item I've sold in the last two months. You remember the train? The train. Stuff? Yeah, I was gonna mention. I paid a hundred for that too, and I sold it for twelve hundred. That's what I'm saying. So don't think we're like making this video thing like this is a get rich quick scheme, or you're gonna be able to do exactly what he's doing over it's time. Not... Like, this takes knowledge and like time and expertise. And those are gems. They don't come up every day. Yeah, but it's kind of like it's kind of think about it as like a career. Like if you get into some fields like you have opportunities to grow. I, I believe it's the same with toys. Like, yeah, you might come in and start flipping things for, for five bucks for 15 to 18 to 22, but then you learn about these 50, 100, 200, you get trains and rare items. It's just, I don't know, I, I love toys. I think it's abundant. I think they're easy to ship. They're easy to store. They're nostalgic. They could flip for a lot of money. Most people don't want to mess with toys because it does take so much knowledge. It's true. You know it's one I mean? of those learn as you go things. I started with the categories that I liked personally. Yeah. Once again, the Ninja Turtles, the Ghostbusters, the Power Rangers, pretty much late 80s, early 90s stuff. I'm gonna go check out what he's doing because he's probably knocking <laughs> all this stuff off the table. We he has a dog and we're like No, no, that's the cat. That's oh, okay. Oliver. I'm like, is there a ghost in this house or something? That's okay. They're only like hundred to 150 a piece. <laughs> Just a couple of toys. <laughs> Oh, oh hey. hey! So yeah, anyways, where do we leave off? Buy toys, flip toys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. essentially. There's a we're... lot of reasons to do it. It's not for everybody. It takes time to grow and to learn and to build your expertise, but there's opportunities. Oh, I was saying to yeah. start with uh, stuff that you enjoy yourself. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good, it's a good start. And then you branch out from there. And um, as usual, the eBay sold listings and the Amazon seller app and, uh, and the toy guide are all great references when it comes to toys as yeah. well. They're super helpful. So we'll link up a bunch of free videos that we recorded um, regarding toys and um, his wanted ads video as well. And also we'll share that haul video that you did where you sold that item for $1,500. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll link a bunch of free resources for you guys down below. Uh, but yeah, I think toys is a great opportunity. It's not for everybody, but again, um, especially if you love toys, you grew up with it, you have knowledge or you're just passionate about it, you want to flip stuff that's fun, um, exactly. I would definitely look into it. So with that being said, uh, be sure to check out his YouTube channel and his Instagram, which is RetroJunk1984. 
1987. There's some underscores there, underscores. So uh, <laughs> be sure to check the uh, the description if you want to learn more. He's pretty active on Instagram. Anything else you want to say? That's it, man. Just keep hustling. Keep hustling. Keep and, hustling, making that money. And keep your animals <laughs> in check because they will mess up your stuff when you're doing a YouTube video. They will. All right, guys. Keep on picking and making that money. Peace.